there are three elements of the model. So the first one will be the stage. Stage refer to the item. So in this problem, we have three items. That means we have three stages. Second element will be the alternative. The alternative refer to the number of units of item I. So in this case, you have to make a decision whether you want to choose one unit, two units, three units, etc. And the third element is the state. So this state refer to the total weight assigned to particular stage. Another thing to be considered is the function that we use in our calculation. So in this case, since we are going to maximize the return, so our function fi xi is the maximum return for stage i given state xi. So in this case, fi xi will be the maximum of R I M I, where R is the revenue for the item and M I is the number of units of item I that we put in the knapsack. So that is the revenue and then plus the optimal feasible solution from another stage. So this is the function that link all the stages. And it is easier if we can change this xi plus 1 into xi so that it is more consistent with the one on the left hand side. By definition, by definition xi minus xi plus 1 represent the weight used at stage i. For example, um, let's say the total weight assigned to uh, xi is 5 kg. And then from previous uh, stage, you have already used 3, 3 kg. So basically, we have a remaining of 2 kg. And this 2 kg can be used to decide on how many items or how many units of item i that we should um, choose. Okay, And this one is equals to W I M I, okay? Because M I is the number of units of item I, and W refer to the individual individual weight of item I. So if we rearrange this equation, it will be X I plus one equals to X I minus W I M I, okay? And we can substitute this into this one. Okay, so xi plus 1 is equals to xi minus wi mi. So after substitute into this equation, so basically now our function would be fi xi equals to maximum of the return ri mi plus the optimal solution from another stage. Now back to our question. So since we have three items, so there will be three stages where item 1 will represent stage 1, item 2 will represent stage 2, and item 3 will represent stage 3. For the state, because our maximum capacity is 4, so our state will be starting from 0 up until 4. Okay, for the alternative, um, so we have to check on capacity, maximum capacity divided by the individual weight okay, per item. So in this case, you have to take 4 divided by 1. So you got 4. Means that your alternative will run from 0 up until 4. And now for the function uh, at stage 3, since we still don't have any optimal solution from other stage, so basically we just focus on the return that we will have from stage 3. So 
we want to find the maximum of return where our return is 14 of M3. Okay, why 14? Because 14 is the revenue for item 3 and M3 is the number of unit, a uh, number of unit of item 3. So this will be our function. And we will use this function when calculating this value. Okay, and then one more thing. There are also um, some invisible area that we can just exclude from our calculation. So how we are going to know which one is the invisible area? So basically, we can use this equation. Okay. W i m i should be less than or equals to x i, or in other words, x i should be greater than or equals to w i m i. Means that okay. For example, if let's say because x i is the the total weight assigned, if let's say the total weight here is zero, okay. If let's say you have total weight is zero, so if you have zero, then it's okay if you choose m three equals to zero. Means that you don't select any of item 3 but if let's say you have zero capacity i mean zero weight um zero weight capacity but then if let's say you want to choose one unit of item 3 the one is invisible okay because uh, in order to choose uh, one unit of item 3 it will require one kilogram but if x3 equal to zero basically you don't have any uh, capacity and same goes here if let's say you choose for x3 equals to 1 means that you have 1 uh, kilogram of weight okay the capacity is 1 kilogram but then you choose to um, pick 3 um, units of item 3 okay also this is impossible why because if you choose 3 units of item 3 and each unit require 1 kilogram means that you need 3 kilogram but your capacity is only one kilogram so in order for us to find what is the i mean where is the invisible area so basically we have to use this one so when m3 equal to zero times with weight equals to one so zero times one is zero so that's why no problem if you start from x3 equals to zero but here if let's say m3 equals to one times your weight equals to one Okay, so 1 times 1 is 1. So basically, you will have your answer starting from x3 equals to 1. So there is no answer at the invisible for x3 equals to 0. If let's say m3 equals to 2, so 2 times 1 is 2. So you will start your iteration uh, when x3 equals to 2. So there is no value when x3 equals to 0 and x3 equals to 1. If M3 equals to 3, so 3 times 1, the weight, so 3 times 1 is 3. So your calculation will start at X3 equals to 3. So there is no value when X3 equals to 0, when X3 equals to 1, and when X3 equals to 2. Now, when M3 equals to 4, 4 times 1 is 4. So basically, you will start your iteration at 4, when X3 equals to 4. So there is no it value when x3 equals to 0, when x3 equals to 1, when x3 equals to 2, and when x3 equals to 3. So now we can substitute the value of m3 into our function. Okay, So when m3 equals to 0, the function is 14 times m3. So when m3 equals to 0, so 14 times 0 is 0. So basically here for this column, all of the answers here are zero now when m3 equals to one so using this function 14 times one is 14 so basically all of the values here will be 14 when m3 equals to 2 so 14 times 2 is 28 so all of the values here will be 28 and when M3 equals to 3, so 14 times 3 is 42. So the value here will be 42. 
And finally, when M3 equals to 4, so 14 times 4 is 56. So the value here is 56. Now we have finished all of the alternative, the value for alternative. This one is for optimal solution. Okay, so you have to compare when x3 equals to 0. Okay, what is the value here? So in this case, for this row, the first row, you only have this value 0 and then the rest is infeasible solution. So basically, the value here is 0. When x3 equals to 1, Okay, so you compare between 0 and 14. And we choose 14. Why we choose 14? Because this question is about uh, maximizing the return. We want to find the maximum value. So you compare between 0 and 14. So 14 is the maximum value. Then for the third row, okay, when x3 equals to 2. So you have to compare between 0, 14 and 28. So the highest value is 28. When x3 equals to 3, you have to compare between 0, 14, 28, and 42. So the highest value is 42. And the last row, when x3 equals to 4, you have to compare between 0, 14, 28, 42, and 56. And the maximum value is 56. And for this uh, optimal M3, here it depends on where we get the answer from. Okay, so for example, the first one, when F3, X3, when the value is 0, so 0 come from when M3 equals to 0. So we put here 0. The second row, when F3, X3 equals to 14, okay, when you compare 14, so basically it come from M3 equals to 1. So M3 equals to 1. Okay, the third row, 28, come from when M3 equals to 2. And next one, 42 come from when x m3 equals to 3. And finally, the last one, when m uh, 56, when m3 equals to 4. So the m value here is 4.